Welcome back, Hornlings, to more Tex Murphy. Where'd that security guy go? These double doors lead into a large room, maybe a reception. I was lucky to get in without the guard seeing me, but I figured he was somewhere in the building. I'd be in trouble if he returned to the front desk and checked out the monitors, so I had to figure something out fast. Oh, shit. Pretty smart. You saw that on Mission Impossible, didn't you? Oh? Did they use that trick too? Why, I had no idea. Did you have any problems setting up the photo? Are you kidding? What do you think I am, an idiot? I'm a genius. Got me some chopper sticks, ah. Well, it never occurred to me to make jello with fruit chunky style. Party Beach Town. They're tough on crime, downy soft on you. Odd. The ozonator seems to have a good size hole in it. Pass card G. Larry's pass card. Pass card E. Oh. This is the pass card, son. This was Greg. Wrong pass card. 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 Well, fuck you. Wrong pass card. ID badge works. This must be John Klaus's little shop of horrors.
I guess Klaus has drawn a little blood in here. Lovely. What's this? Robert Knott may be receiving several important phone calls at extension 107. It's imperative that all calls coming to his office after hours be answered. Someone needs to learn how to spell. Coming only has one M in it, unless you're jizzing on someone's face. Not Gideon, too. This time, Sylvia has a lot of explaining to do. Uh, well, she's a hooker, so no, she really doesn't have a whole lot of explaining to do. <coughs> I think Klaus has night fever, and he knows how to show it. I think Klaus has night fever. Klaus has night fever, and he knows how to show it. He likes them nights. Moonlights is a film critic. Klaus probably uses this to determine the exact moments his patients kick off. Uh, I'll pass on the sandwich, but a super squishy... Texo, bus cat. I can barely see this damn thing. Slade must have given this pass card to Klaus after he murdered whoever it belonged to. The crusade of genetic purity. Rumors have been circulated in regards to a supposed cabal known as the Crusade of Genetic Purity, existing within the ranks of the Law and Order Party. Reputedly, the ideals of this faction include an agenda for cleansing the general population of all those possessing mutated genetic makeups. In spite of any personal views on the mutant issue, the party's official stand is to one, deny the existence of the Crusade, and two, strongly oppose the ideology. Failure to comply with any party member will result in immediate and permanent expulsion.
Chances are probably about zero that I'll get into Klaus's. These tools look like something out of dead ringers. Carl Linsky's name is printed here. Hmm. I'd gotten everything I needed out of law and order, but the odds were pretty good that the guard was waiting in the lobby. I had to figure out a way to get him away from the front desk without letting him know I was in the building. <laughs> Dialing 107. I'll need the Law & Order ID badge in order to open this door. Well, that won't work. After my narrow escape from Law & Order, I went home and crashed, but I slept like hell. Slade was still out there, undoubtedly looking for me, and I had nightmares about John Klaus, the mad scientist, turning everyone into zombies. When I woke up the next day, I had no idea what was going to happen. Little did I know, later that day, I'd find out the identity of the poisoned pawn. Sounds like I've got a message on the vid phone. I have a message for you. You'll probably think it's important. You can pick it up at my shop whenever you get the time to see me. Ciao for now. Like I've got a message on the vid phone. Good afternoon, Mr. Murphy. I just wanted to call and thank you for bringing me the disc from Robert Knott. It has everything we need to take down the Law and Order Party. The evidence is overwhelming. I owe you a big favor. Within reason, of course. Thank you again. Sweet. I know what you can do as my favor. Oh, wait, what? I'm telling this story to who? Sheesh, Jorge, you're not still playing the same game, are you? So, you got my message. Yeah, I did. I was contacted on the internet by the poison pawn you asked me about. He sent an email for you. For me? It's over there on that computer. Thanks. There was no return address. That's all right. Mr. Murphy, if you want to know the truth about Linsky's suicide and its connection to the STG project, Meet me at the abandoned St. Thomas Mission at midnight. If you're late or bring anyone with you, you won't find me. This is a matter of life and death, yours, the Poisoned Pawn. Well, everything about the message seemed legit. It was from the Poisoned Pawn, came through Valdez, it referred to things from Wanda Peck's anonymous letter. But my intuition meter was on the fritz. Was I being set up, or was I about to meet the man behind the curtain? If so, who was it? J. St. Gideon? One of the supposedly dead scientists, Carl Linsky, back from the grave. I waited till midnight and went to the rendezvous point. My instincts told me to beware of a trap, so I found a back door and went in that way. The place appeared to be empty, but I still needed to check out the clock tower. 
As it turned out, though, I had to search the ground floor first, and search pretty thoroughly before doing anything else. It's like someone was tidying up about 20 years ago. Ooh, I got me a rock. Old toolboxes? Well, they're like Christmas presents for an amateur handyman like myself. Old toolboxes? Well, they're like Christmas presents for an amateur handyman. Got an old pen knife and a rock. Crates don't look like they've been moved in quite a while. Uh huh. Shibby dooby doo. Ah, oh, this bitch. Trouble. Capital T. Capital R U B A L. Trouble. Oh shit, she's been doing cocaine again. Shame to cover such a beautiful mouth. Don't you think so, Mr. Murphy? This guy wearing a Halloween it, uh, costume? It was necessary, of course. You see, I couldn't have Delcinea warning off her knight Aaron from charging the windmill. I was wondering when you'd crawl out of that rat's nest. Contraire. Senor Quixote. It is you who are the rat. Nice pop gun. And you, my dear. The perfect piece. Who's the poison pawn? Is it you? Is it Sylvia here? Sylvia? The poison pawn? It was Miss Linsky's father who wrote the anonymous letter to Capricorn. We found copies of it while we were going through his papers after his uh, <clears throat> unfortunate death. So why'd you have to trick me into coming here? I brought you here to offer you a trade. You tell me what you know, and I let the little missy free. So, let's begin with the STG pass cards. Where are they? The best of my recollection there, somewhere on the Spanish High Plains with my trusted servant, Sancho. I've got them with me. <laughs> Excellent. In 30 words or less, tell me everything you know about the STG project. Not too much. I mean, I've heard implants, mind control, satellite tracking. 
and then there was that little experiment you pulled on me. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it didn't work out quite as we had planned. You were supposed to be a good little detective and die, like Mr. Linsky. I mean, Linsky was your friend. I'd hate to see what you'd do to your enemies. Well, you're about to find out. Now, for the sake of Miss Linsky here. Tell me what else you found out about. Well, there's someone running around with the name Overlord. He seems to be running things. You know, I think that's you. <laughs> Excellent! Excellent! Now, as a token of my appreciation, One last kiss. Why'd you tell him he's never gonna let me go? <gasps> oh, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Murphy. It looks like she's not in the mood. For once? <laughs> well, uh, let's just uh, <clears throat> move on to the uh, murder-suicide portion of the program, shall we? <clears throat> you said you'd let her go. We made a deal. Mr. Murphy, please. Don't compound your gullibility with your stupidity. I mean, she's more of a threat to me than you are. The mere fact that she's been intimate with several of my enemies, not to mention a handful of my allies, makes her a real threat. You're a liar! Don't listen to him, Tex. I, I've never had anything to do with Klaus or any of it. I swear it. Well, I didn't say you were involved. But I do realize you have the capacity for treachery. For all I know, you may be as innocent as you claim to be. I'm just not a risk taker. He's a slut. Oh, don't look so sad, Tex. At least you know that uh, you are the last, hmm? I mean, perhaps she even cared for you. Much as he's capable. Well, down to business. Mr. Slade? Mr. Slade? I, uh, leave the necessary unpleasantries in your capable hands. My pleasure, Mr. Klaus. That was close. I was beginning to wonder how we were going to get out of this. Don't stop wondering on my account. See, the way I got it figured, once I get all those pass cards, someone will pay top dollar to get them back. I was just taking out the middleman. If you take a personal check, I'd be happy to put in my bid. Well, I appreciate the offer, but I don't think you're in the right tax bracket. I was thinking more along the lines of, say, Jason Gideon. So, who wants to go first? I want to save your game. If you'd consider granting me a last request, I suppose. As long as it's reasonable. Could I kiss Sylvia goodbye? At least that way, I could die a happy man. Well, I wouldn't want you to die unhappy. Go ahead. But don't do anything stupid. Ew. Tastes like ketchup. Oh, that was 
was very touching. Now let's get down to business. So who's first? You know, Slade, any little girl looks tough with a gun. Why don't you pretend you're a real man? Let you and I go mano a mano, huh? <laughs> I'll give you one thing. You've got guts. All right. I'll make an exception this one time. By the way, many of these uh, options that you can choose will lead to death. In fact, all of them will lead to death unless no you choose the right thieves, combination. Eh, Why don't you just come out first? Make things easy on yourself. If you don't, I might just kill your girlfriend first. I can't remember which is the right one here. That wasn't it. <laughs> I think it was use the rock as a diversion. No honor among thieves, eh, Murphy? Why don't you just come out first? Make things easy on yourself. If you don't, I might just kill your girlfriend first. forever I'll get you sooner or later soon is better for me <laughs> the garbage can top is a shield Okay, Slade, I give up. I'm not gonna get out of the situation alive anyway. I do have a proposition for you. For some reason, you don't seem to understand. I don't need to make a deal with you. You wanna blackmail Gideon, don't you? To do that, you're gonna need all eight STG pass cards. I know where you can get seven of them. What sort of a bloody drongo do you think I am? Here's the STG pass card that Sonny stole from you. You let Sylvie and me go, I'll get you the other six. Oops. Whooping that ass. Whoop his ass, Tex. <laughs> Tell me something. Why do they call you Big Jim Slade? Oh shit, because well, he can do a jump stick. Yeah, that clarifies it. Well, if that didn't, Beach will. Oh! Roundhouse! Spin and kick! <laughs> this shit is so real. This is a fucking Ow, 2019 too action. Are you okay? saying this, but 
You are good. You are very, very good. Do you give lessons? Well, yeah. Matter of fact, this one's on me. <laughs> Hurry up, bitch. <laughs> oh, look. Time to die. Slate! <laughs> This is for Sonny! Ah! Oh, I thought he was going to throw his ass out okay. the window. Did you overhear anything else? No. All right, look. Take this. You keep your eye on him. Cops will be here in a bit, so he shouldn't be a problem. But there's something he's got that I need. Thanks. Yeah. About that thing that Klaus said about me. Look, Sylvia, your business is your business. No, I understand, no. Okay? Please, please listen. It's okay, really. The past is the past. It's important to me. I want to tell you there's been some things in my life that I'm not very proud of. I used to work for an agency. An escort agency. If I get out of this, I'm gonna bite your bloody leg off. If he says one more thing, I want you to just shoot him. <sighs> I've known a lot of guys. But that was the past. It's behind me now. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it? Knowing people? And it's all right, okay? I mean, really, it's all so right. So you spread really eagle for a lot of guys. You didn't know them. But I want it to matter to you. I've, I've never had a lot anything of to do with Klaus or Law and Order or any of it. What the hell is this? Card. Got it. Keep your eye on him, I'm okay? a new woman now. I'm not the person I used to be. Right. Oh, come on. You did not fall for that old line, did you? No. No way. Yes, you did, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> okay, so how did uh, Sylvia justify this whole escort thing with you? Well, Just don't act like you've been around the block. she just got into modeling was barely getting by. Um, a friend told her of a great way to make money. Yes. I guess that's the only reason she did it. A likely story. Yeah, well, I guess I was pretty gullible back then. Anyway, while Slade and Klaus were waiting for me to show up, Sylvia overheard them talking. Apparently, Klaus had operated on Carl Linsky. When he removed the tumor, he replaced it with an implant that eventually drove Linsky insane. Slade just tracked him to make sure he committed suicide. I still think my theory's better. Well, I told you yours was a better story. But regardless, Klaus was using Linsky as a guinea pig for the law and order party for what they intended to use Overlord for. Did Sylvia overhear anything else? Yes, yeah, she did as a matter of fact. Now Klaus still wasn't sure where the Overlord main computer was, but he suspected it was at J. St. Gideon's mansion. And that's where you went next. Right. When I told Sylvia, she said she knew how I could get in. A shortcut to the bedroom, I'll bet. Uh, actually, that's what it was. Look, don't say it. I know I was a moron. But she did get me inside the mansion. So there I was, standing in Gideon's bedroom without any idea of what I was looking for. Naughty pictures of Sylvia? You really do have a one-track mind. All right, folks, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Tex Murphy Overseer.